guys, Deanne here with uh, Bear Doug, here for another episode of Canadian Facts with Deanne and Doug. But we've got a special surprise for you this week. Bear Doug has been a little bit of an annoyance to me. He doesn't give me a lot of feedback, not a lot of facts coming out of him. So I'm going to swap Bear Doug this week. And instead, we're going to have South African Doug. Hey. Hey. This is South African Doug. What's your real name? It's Werner for Canadians and Werner for South Africans. I'm just going to call you Doug. Okay. Welcome. So on this week's Canadian Facts, we're going to be talking about food. Okay. I like food. You like food? Yeah. Good. I think a lot of people like food. Awesome. So what's your you know, favorite Canadian food since you got here? Mm, probably... Halibut. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, halibut is a deep sea fish. It weighs, oh, you can get several hundred pounds. If you ever go deep sea fishing for halibut, make sure it's dead before you bring it in the boat. People have died. The fish lays on you, not a good way to go. That's scary. Okay, I don't like halibut. I like poutine a lot. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what a poutine is, can you tell them what it is? Poutine basically is a heart attack that you eat. And you pray to God that you are still alive after you've eaten it. But is it delicious? It is. Okay. But for an actual description of what the food is, it's fries with cheese curds and gravy. And the gravy warms up and it melts the cheese curds and it's really, really delicious. And it's originally from Quebec, so mm. French-Canadian food. And uh, it's pretty good, eh? It's very good, eh? Uh, cool. Now, uh, what's something that you've had in Canada that you couldn't find anywhere else? Moose burgers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bison burgers. Yeah. Deer burgers. A lot of game meat here. A lot of game meat. All right. Well, it's good to know what you, you know, what's been new to you, but depending what country you're from, there's other things that you might not know about Canadian food. So let's just start with uh, one of the ones I've brought here. Hey, South African Doug, can you pass me something there? Sure. The world famous. Well, this is where it gets a little bit unique. Nice platter place in here in between us. So, see, it says KD Kraft Dinner. Some countries it's going to say macaroni and cheese. Only in Canada is it called KD, so Kraft Dinner. Now, us Canadians, we love our craft dinner. We consume about 1.7 million boxes a week. Did you know that? No, this is nuts. What else do they eat then? Well, it's a good question. What else do we have on the floor? Well, da 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 da. Wow. Peanut butter. So, interesting fact about peanut butter do you know where it was invented? No. Canada! Oh, wow. Yeah. So this originated in Canada, first patent by a Canadian. And again, from Quebec. Oh, cool. French Canadians know how to eat, hey? Mm, those foodies, eh? Yeah. And do you know what you could put your peanut butter on? Mm. A beaver tail. Oh, wow. I was thinking a lot of other things, but beaver tails are amazing. Yes. So if you don't know what a beaver tail is, it's basically some flattened fried dough kind of like a donut dough but crispier more delicious and usually you'll put some cinnamon and sugar on it and then you could put some people put chocolate peanut butter they do like a reese's peanut reese's, butter reese's, you know yeah. butter bleh, buttercup butter buttercup on top and it's delicious and you can get a lot of different flavors there's even a chain here called the beaver tail and they've got a lot of uh different places throughout canada and actually they've they've outsourced their chains to six different countries now oh wow well, i didn't know that yeah. And have you ever had a beaver tail? I've had a few beaver tails. And what do you think? They're pretty amazing. They're pretty dark. Is one amazing. usually enough? No. I normally have about six. That sounds about right. Okay. All right. What do we got next? Next we have the world famous maple syrup. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, a little bit of a fact here. You would think that maple syrup is Canadian, but it's we're going to call it North American. Oh, okay. Because uh, the indigenous Aboriginal people of North America were the first ones to use it. So it wasn't Canadian or America. It was, you know, indigenous to the okay. whole North America. Okay. But Canada 
exports the most maple syrup in the world. How much do you think we export? Oh, a few hundred liters, like three, four hundred liters, I suppose. Well, I didn't get the literage. Gallons. Five hundred million dollars. Oh wow, that's a uh, that's a lot of syrup. Not a great unit of measurement. Another interesting <laughs> fact, though, because you've brought this up before, Canadians we do weird measurements like that. Like if I'm telling you how to get somewhere, I'm not going to tell you how many k's away it is. I'm going to say it's about ten minutes. Welcome to Canada, eh? It's ridiculous, eh? All right, what do we got next? Ah, uh, yes. The one and only Clamato juice. Now, you would think Clamato juice is Canadian. It's not. Oh, wow. I know. It's so, something new. yeah, original patent from America. Some guy who owned a seafood company. Oh, boo. Weird. Now, if you don't know what Clamato juice is, it's pretty much tomato juice with some clam juice and other things in it. Now, can I, how, yeah. can, I, can I ask a question? You can. What is clam juice? Oh, I was about to ask you. What do you think clam juice is? Just as the name says, it's juice from clams. Great. And how do you think they get that? They have to milk them, I suppose. <laughs> so I, I did Google this because I was quite interested to know what is clam juice. I thought maybe they like mushed a bunch up in a blender and then it was just, you know. So it turns out they shuck them, they steam them, and then the juice that's collected, that's your clam juice. Okay. Sounds totally unappealing and disgusting, mm. but it really works in this. It's now, clams, but I must say it's very delicious. Yeah. Now, most of this, people don't drink it. They mix it and they make this lovely drink here called the Caesar. So a Caesar is a alcoholic beverage mm -hmm. and if you tune in after this we're going to show you how to make one. Oh wow. Okay. Can I drink it? Yeah. Oh yeah let's do it. Okay so we'll save this for a little bit later. Just on that uh, some countries call a Caesar a Bloody Mary as well so I think back. Uh, on... What's the difference between a Caesar and a Bloody Mary? Clamato juice. Right. Bloody Mary is just straight up tomato juice. Oh, which Caesar is? is your Clamato juice. And then we throw some Worcestershire in there and some other things. A bit of pepper always. It's good. A bit of what? Pepper. A pepper. Can't understand this accent, eh? Okay. All right. We got one last food. Oh, And wow. what is it? Da, 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 da. Did you... Open these, South no, African duck. Yeah. Oh, you like, took a little bit long, so I needed to snack on something. Can't leave this guy a minute. All right, so what is it? So these are ketchup Doritos. Okay, so more Limited specifically, edition. ketchup chips. Ketchup chips. Yeah. Now, could you find these anywhere else? Not these ones. No. We know that in South Africa, you got something called tomato sauce chips. Do they taste the same? Mm -mm. Which one's better? Mm. These are very good. Now, ketchup flavor, you'll find it all through Canada. There's lots of different types, but honestly, the new Doritos, I'm not getting paid for this. They're just amazing. Mm. And if you go to your nearest Costco, you can get a family pack. Yeah, it should last you about half a day. Yeah. I was going to say half an hour. Oh, half an hour with you. All right, well, that's all I've got from the floor food. Anything else, South African Doug, that you can think of? that you've really enjoyed about Canadian food? Uh, obviously the Atlantic salmon is pretty good here. Yeah? It's always fresh, it's like year round is pretty good. And obviously if you go like uh, fishing in the lakes and stuff, there's always trout and salmon. So if you like that, that's uh, normally- Some pickerel? Pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. Pickerel fish is a white fish. It's a, it's a river fish and it's, it's very good. It's very, very good. It's very, very tasty fish as well. Mm -hmm. And you find that mostly in Ontario, I think, yes, eh? Yes, I think so. I think the northern parts, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's been uh, this week's episode of Canadian Facts with uh, Deanne and Doug. And again, instead of Bear Doug this week, we had South African Doug. So thanks for, uh, for joining us. You're very welcome. And yeah. uh, touch my ketchup chips again, and this isn't going to end well for you. I love touching your ketchup chips. <laughs>